Hey, what is going on everyone? In this video, what I'm going to do is show you guys two different ways of setting up on-click listeners for your buttons. So before recording this video, I created a text view and gave it an ID of text. And I also created two buttons. The first button has an ID of button one and the second button has an ID of button two. And what I'd like to do is change the color of this text using two different styles of on-click listeners for our buttons. All right, so it should be pretty simple. Let's make our way over to our Java file. And outside of the onCreate method, what I want to do is create a variable that will store the text view that we created in our XML file. So we'll type in private, and then we'll reference the text view class, and we'll just call it text view to keep things simple and end that statement. Then we're going to come into the onCreate method. And then within here, we're going to assign our text view variable to this text view right here. So we're going to essentially link the two up. So the way we go about doing that is referencing our variable dot find view by ID, this guy right here, and then we'll go R dot ID. And if you remember, we gave it an ID of text. So now we have this text view stored in this variable right here. Now what I want to do is do the same thing for our first button, which in this case is the blue button. So then what we're going to do is type in button to reference that class and we'll just call it button one. Set that equal to find view by ID again, and we'll go r dot ID dot button one. So we aren't going to do the same exact thing for button two. We aren't going to link it up to a variable within our Java code, and you'll see why in just a second. What we're going to do now is set up an onclick listener for button one. And what this does, it just waits for the user to press a button, and then some code will be executed. So the way we can do that is by typing in button one, and then we'll go set onclick listener, this very first option here. And then we're going to create a new view.onClickListener. So if you click this first spot, there's little two brackets with three dots in them. If you hit that option, Android Studio will fill in a bunch of code for you. And within this onClick method, this is the code that will be executed when button one is pressed by the user. So this is one way that you can set up an onClick listener for a button in Android Studio. Now, this isn't my preferred method of setting up the onClick listener. What I like doing is coming outside of the onCreate method and creating my own. So if we type in public void, we'll call it change color. And then within this method, we're going to need to pass in a view. So we're going to reference the view class and then we'll just call this variable view and we'll close this off. Now, the reason why we made this public is so when we go over to our XML file, we can actually link up that method that we created to our red button. So if we come all the way over to the attributes panel, we can scroll down and then you'll see there's this on click slot. And if we come all the way over to the right, there's a drop down, and then you'll see that it found the method that we just created. So if we click that, now this method that we wrote in our Java file will now be executed when we press this red button. So now if we come back to our Java file, we can start writing the code that'll change the text of our text view. So now if you remember the first method of creating the onclick listener, we have to write the code within this onclick method. So if we come in here, we can reference the text view variable that we created, that set text color. And then within here, we'll just go color dot blue to change the text of our text view to blue. Then if we copy and paste this line of code, we can make it red. And then we should be good to go. So then if we come up to the top right hand corner, we can click play, wait for the app to load, and then we'll see that it crashes. So why is that? Oh, okay, so here's why. So you can see that I did text view dot find view by ID, but really it should be equals. So now if we come back up, load up our app again, and now it works. So if we click the blue button, you'll see that the text changes to blue. And then if we click the red button, the text changes to red. And with each of these buttons, we set up an on-click listener in a completely different way. You can use either one, they'll both work. But in general, I do like to use this one because it saves a lot of code. So that's it for this video. As always, if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to help you guys out. If you guys want to see more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.